Hello guys, I just wanted to make a little video showing you uh, a little dummy battery that I made for this little portable modem that I picked up a couple of weeks ago from Optus. Uh, I picked it up for $5 with 50 gig of data, which I think is because they are getting rid of the old model. They are selling out the, all the 4G uh, to start using the 5G and start selling those. So... Um, 4G is still pretty usable, and as a matter of fact, I think it's better than my current fiber to the node connection at home. Eh, at home. So I picked it up because I wanted to put it in my trailer and my car so I can actually access the internet when I'm out and about without using my phone data, as well as um, being able to leave it connected so I can actually access my dash cam and all of those things, you know, like basically we cannot live without the internet these days. So I just thought it was a good idea. And for $5, I thought well, we can go wrong. The problem with putting one of them in a car uh, being fed by constant USB is this little battery is quite small. And, you know, like being lithium, I don't think it will cope with the constant charging and the heat in the car. So it may swell, it may explode. So I just thought oh, maybe I just do a little bit of research and see if I can make a dummy battery. So as you can see, it turns on, it works well with this battery. So I picked up a couple of components uh, from Jayka, which is nothing fancy, just a, just a little bunch of uh, resistors, 0.5 of a watt and 10K resistors and some small diodes just to protect the... Um, the circuit for a, from a feedback and also I picked up from eBay a little buck converter this little red thing that you see here is a buck converter that um, takes anything from 6 to 24 volt and convert it down to 5 volt USB so it had a USB port which I desoldered and I just left a positive and negative there from that so to make my dummy battery which I made here so you can see, you know, it's nothing fancy, just a positive going through the diode to the positive connection. And then we have here the little resistor, uh, negative goes direct there, and the other part of the resistor just to fool the uh, temperature sensor in the, in the actual modem to think that there is a battery connected to it. Because the problem with this is if you connect a USB and don't put a battery, it will give you a battery error. So it needs to have something connected to it. So... Just to demonstrate, I'm going to use this 20 volt, uh, 4, uh, 4 amp power battery from one of those Aldi tools. Uh, it's the same type of battery, 18 to 20 volt that uh, Makira, Milwaukee and all, all your normal tools use. So basically I'm going to convert 20 volt from there through the buck converter and put that into, into 5 volt to, to use the, the little model. So what I need to do is I just connect my dummy battery here just make sure that i put it there properly and then these two wires i connected to the positive and negative terminals of my lithium battery so that's positive there that's my negative and as you can see the buck converter is now working so basically turn it on and this unit should start working just as if it had a, a battery in it so let's give it a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds um, to do it booting. Uh, like I said, the, I think this, um, this hack would probably work for most of these tiny little units. As long as you know what you can do, it is fairly safe. And um, what I really like about that is now I can leave it, you know, connected to my, to my secondary battery in the trailer or my youth, and I can have internet on the go. So I could probably give... My niece, when she gets in the car, I can give her a Wi-Fi tablet that I have and she could use it to watch stuff or I can use it to, for work. Basically, you know, it's, it's a good idea to have inter internet available anywhere that you can. And as you can see, you know, it's now connected, it's showing the 4G, it shows as if he had a full battery. And yeah, it's just a couple of dollars that I spent on that. I'm pretty happy with that. And the best thing is it's also reversible. So if I ever need to use this uh, modem as a portable unit all i need to do is just take the dummy battery stick back his its original battery and that would be it you know like i can put it in my pocket and just take it with me 
I think it probably would be a good idea for using it in rigs like time-lapse cameras and all that, as long as you have access, because I just don't know how often you would need to reset these things. But in my test, it hasn't overheated. It has worked for a couple of hours uh, overnight. Uh, I left it on all, the, all night, and it was fine. You know, it, it just didn't turn off or it didn't do anything. I used it to watch a lot of videos. And so you can see, you know, from last time that I start, restarted it, I used 2.2 gig of data already. So anyway, that was it. I just wanted to show you guys that. If you guys are interested, I just leave a little list of the things that you need to make one of these dummy batteries. And well, see you later. Bye.